Do you think the IRS scandal is phony? Jay Carney answered that specific question. What we've seen is uh, inappropriate activity that the president came out and forcefully said he would not tolerate and that he installed somebody at the IRS <laughs> to take care of. What we have seen from Republicans is cherry-picked information based on investigations that turns out to be only one side of the story. It's demonstrated by the way that the press has uh, you know, gotten extremely excited about the potential for a scandal and basically dropped it when the facts have come out. The president will not tolerate uh, poor performance or inappropriate activity at any agency, and when he finds out about it, he acts on it. But he's focused on the economy, Joe. He's not focused on, you know, pretend scandals right. uh, that, that Republicans so, so, on so, Capitol so Hill I want to get to the economy, make, want, Jay, want but to I, turn into I, I, partisan right. uh, skirmishes. Congressman Trey Gowdy joins us, and obviously he got the memo. He used the term phony scandals, just like the president says phony. Um, your response to the press sector? There is nothing phony about four murdered Americans in Benghazi. And if he thinks there is, I'd encourage him to look at the autopsy photos. There's nothing phony about Brian Terry's murder at the border. There's nothing phony about IRS targeting people based on ideology. There's nothing phony about an NSA program that almost failed on the House floor because people don't trust this administration. There's nothing phony about bonuses being paid to IRS employees. Uh, so whether you want to go fast and furious, Benghazi, uh, IRS, NSA, Obamacare with Enroll America, uh, people have begun to lose trust in the institutions of government. And if they want to use the word phony for that, they, they need to get out of Washington more and go to real America. I'll tell you what I thought was phony. And I thought perhaps the worst thing that Jay Carney says is, uh, he said, I think what we've seen is inappropriate activity that the president came out and forcefully said he would not tolerate. So what if he forcefully says it? Why does he do something? I mean, like, instead, I mean, they denied it. They, they, they did the silly story on the video. Um, the IRS thing, I've got all the notes from Jay Carney, May 20th, May 21st. He says it's some basically rogue agents in Cincinnati. That's not true. I mean, it's like, you know, they, 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 almost, you know, they almost spit in your face to, like you're stupid or something. Well, there have been six iterations of a defense in the IRS case. But remember, Lois Lerner disclosed this at an ABA conference with a planted question. That's a how trick. we learned about it. That was a trick. It. Right. Uh, then we went into it was two rogue agents, and Jay Carney himself repeated that false narrative, and others in the administration have. And then it went to, well, it was the progressive groups that were targeted, too, not just conservative groups. So as long as we treat two different sets of people improperly, at least it's not discrimination. And now the new defense is, well, the president himself didn't know about it. Greta, if that's the new standard for propriety in this town, that the president himself didn't know about it? Here's the other thing I think people are missing about this IRS thing, is that it, it isn't so much that they sort of, I mean, what well, is actually, um, it, it's if, if they had been denied right at the get-go, then they could have appealed it to another another uh, part of the IRS. But instead, what this was so sadistic about this and so painful is that they just dragged it out. So they so they were sort of in this no man's uh, no man's land, and they couldn't appeal it. So by having no decision, they would have been far better off if the IRS agents, whoever was involved in this, well, however high it went, if they simply said no and, and denied it, so they could have appealed it. Instead, they strung them out. And that suggests even more culpability, because you're right. It, in some instances, people just gave up. And these are average ordinary citizens who want to become in, engaged in the political process and, and they do what they're supposed to do which is file an application and they're given a set of questions that in the past no one else had been given and they're slow walked and some of them just wind up giving up and all they wanted to do was participate just participate in the political process I thought we encouraged that in this I, country I'd like to have the president sit down and Jay Carney sit down with some of these Americans I've met some of them and say that their real concerns whether it's uh, you know an IRS concern or, or a border agent family member, and say that that their problems are phony, that's what I'd like. I'd like to have the president have the guts to look some of these people in the face who who really believe in whatever they're doing, whatever they're pursuing, that their problems are phony. Well, I, I'll say this, Greta, I, you were in the criminal justice system. I was too. If you want to sit down with Brian Terry's mother and look her in the eyes and say that this scandal's phony, fast and furious, or how about the, the, the innocent Mexicans, who we don't know their name, but at least 200, who have been killed because of guns we sent into Mexico and call that phony, or four murdered Americans who went because we asked them to represent us in a foreign land, and, the, and their world is set on fire and they're murdered in Libya, and you go call that phony. I dare him to look Ty Woods father in the face and say this is a phony scandal. You know what the whole the whole thing about it is that all these scandals 
could be resolved very quickly with true transparency. Mm -hmm. You know, the, you know, having to like sort of pull information, like you know, like you're pulling teeth. That's what drags them out. And all the sort of false, you know, the things where they sort of divert you onto videos or Cincinnati, whatever. That's what drags these out is, is the lack of, you know, like if they just put the information out on day one, that would be the end of it. And this is what I love about the American people. They are forgiving. If you make a mistake, they will forgive you. What they will not forgive you for is lying to them. Congressman, thank you. Always nice yes, to see you, sir. Thank you. Coming up.